This data sufficiency question is tricky because it gives us a lot of free info in disguise. They put it all in that little diagram of circles and it's going to be really important that we take the time to extract everything we can from that diagram. We can say that AB equals BD because those are the two sides of the diameter of the small circle, radius equals radius. All I'm saying is the left side radius is equal to the right side radius in this small circle. And separately we can say that AC equals CE for the same reason except this time I'm looking at the large circle. The left radius equals the right radius. So if we bring those two equations with us into the statements, we can see that statement one actually implies statement two and statement two implies statement one. In other words, if I have the free info and also I have statement one, I can infer statement two all by myself. Conversely, if I have the free info and statement two, I can infer statement one. And this allows me to eliminate answer choices A, B, and C without even reading what the question is asking for. I go into the logic behind that in the second section of my book, which you can actually read for free on quantreasoning.com. Now in this case, since each of these statements does allow me to find the size of the large radius and the size of the small radius, of the large and small circles respectively, I can answer the question. I'm not actually going to do the math because I don't need to, but if you have the radii of two circles, yes, you can find the difference of areas of those two circles and therefore I'm going to go ahead and pick answer choice D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.